Welcome to all, myself, Professor Shekhi Saksayar. I am going to teach about Oh My Love, Sir Like a Red Red Rose poem, which is written by Robert Bird. This is for the FYB class for the Pune University. You can imagine Oh My Love is a like a red red rose. This line shows about or talks about that the poet has compared his love with a red red rose. You can, you can see that here how the poet is showing a love to her. Now we will discuss about Robert Burke. So he was born in 1759 in Alloy, Scotland. His father was Tenant Farmer who taught his children at homes. Burns also studied for a year in the school started by his father and John Dodge. John Dodge was his father's friend who was neighbor to him. He taught him mathematics to him or all his children. Poverty and struggle in his early life to grab a tail on his head. You can imagine how he has died in his life or he has ended his life with a disease. Between 1784 and 1785, he wrote a lot of poems, many of which were collected in his first book, Poems, chiefly in the Scottish dialect. So all the poems which are written in Scottish dialect, so in the Scotland language, or many of the poems also written in English, but they are in, in a list, which became an interest, success, and Burns was celebrated in Scotland and Indian as a great peasant poet. He is known as a great peasant poet because he has written more about the peasants, farmers, or he has also influenced with his father because his father was a farmer and he also worked as a farmer. So he is known as a peasant poet. Burn is among the best known poet who has written in the Scott language. So the Burn was, Burn has written many poems which are in Scott language, means Scotland language. So he has also written in English language but in a less. Although much of his writing in English, his poems celebrated traditional Scottish culture and document expression, farm life, class, religious distinction. So like Indians, the Indian writer or the poets have depicted their life, their cultures, their thoughts, their feelings in their poems in their novels, in the dramas, like the Burns also has depicted his poems or depicted his culture in his poem like farm, life, class, religious, the middle class family, he was also belong to the middle class family, so he has discussed more about uh, middle class family and his farm life. His There were many writers who influenced to Robert Burns, such as Shakespeare, Dryden, Milton, because he has read most of them, most of their works, and these works helped him to write his poems. So he was he more influenced by his father also, because he has learned also more about uh, from his father, because his father taught him many lessons in his life. So we will discuss about about the poem Red Red Rose. The poem Red Red Rose, which is written in 1794, this is a lyrical poem. This poem opens with the speaker comparing his love to a red red rose or melody. In the beginning of first paragraph, we can see that how the poet has discussed his love. He has discussed his love with a red rose or melody in the third or fourth stanza. In the second and third, third stanza, the poet has discussed about how much he loved to her. And in the last stanza, fourth stanza, the poet has discussed the farewell. He is going away from her. So you can see the poem opens with the speakers comparing his love to a red red rose and to a melody that sweetly played in a tune. In the second and the third stanza, the poet speaker described how deep his love is 
and in the, it's deep. He will love his bonny lass. Bonny lass means beautiful girl, beautiful lady. As a love, he is alive. And until the world ends, at the end, he says that he will love, return, even if he has to walk 10,000 miles. So, we can see that this poem is about love and the separation. How he has described his love to her, or he has described, he has compared his love with the melody, with the red rose, and how much he loved to her. And in the last line, he is going away from her. He says that even I am going away, or even I am going 10,000 miles away from you, then I still I will come to you. Next is, I am going to explain about a red red rose poem. So I am going to read poem. Oh my loves, like a red red rose that newly sprung in a June. Oh my loves, like a melody that sweetly played the tune. As fair art thou, my bony lass, so deep in love I am. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas can dry. Till all the seas can dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of her life shall run. And fair thee well, my only love, and fair thee well, goodbye. And I will come again, my love, thou it fair ten thousand miles. This is the poem. This is a lyrical poem which is written in 1794 by Robert Burns. So I will explain stanza by stanza or line by line. First four lines are, Oh my love is like a red red rose that sweetly sprung in a jewel. So here poet compared his love with a red red rose. He has used simile in the first line. Simile means there is a comparison between two things. There is a comparison between two objects with the help of words like or. So here poet has used simile. He has compared his love with a red red rose. Here he has used the word like. So it is simile, figure of speech has used by Robert Burns. So the poet has compared his love with a red red rose that newly sprung in a jewel. The rose which was sprung in a jewel. That rose is so fresh. So that's why he has compared his love that he also saying that his love is so fresh like a red rose. His love is starting now. So he has used similar or he says that his love is like a red red rose which is newly sprung. Okay, to the next slide. Oh my love like the melody. Melody means sweet music. That sweetly played with you. Melody which that means a sweet music that was created by the, the musicians. The musicians have created the sweet music. She is, she is also like a melody. Her voice is like a melody. So the poet compasses his sweet words of love in the following verses. He loves the young lady beyond the masses. Through vivid similes and hyperbolic comparisons, he has also drawn his love to the springtime, rosy youth, or two sweet melodies, tunes. His lady love is as fresh as a new sprung roses, or as sweet as those of a melodious tune. So in that first stanza, the poet has compared his love with a red rose or melody. So he has used, in that first stanza, he has used simile, figure of speech or poetic devices. Next four lines. As fair art thou, my body lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas can dry. So you can see that art means Ah, thou means you and the body means beautiful, last means lady. These are old words, you know. Ah, thou, body and the last, these are the old words which are used by Robert Burns. So, art means ah, thou means you, body means beautiful, last means lady for a girl. So, here poet says that 
you are so beautiful that's why i am in love with you you are so beautiful you looks like a so beautiful that's why i love to you so i am in a deep love with you and i will love this till my dear till a apostrophe means all a apostrophe means all the c is gam gam means became so her poet says that he will love his beloved his dear till all the c's can write these are things cannot be happen in the world so c's cannot be dry in the world so he is saying he is emphasizing his love how he is saying how much he love to her that he will love to her all the c's can dry but you know that the c's cannot be or never it cannot be dry any time so next the poet addresses directly his lady as a bony lass or pretty and accepts his love in hyperbolic terms that he would continue his love his love till all the seas go dry the infinite urge of love and its permanency can be copied from these statements so in the in this stanza we can see that we can understand we can imagine that how much he love her how much love her okay next till all the seas can dry my dear and the rocks melt with the sun i will love you still my dear by the sea by the sands of life shall love here also poet am repeated the line these or the all the seas can dry he has emphasizing more about her love how much he love to her so he has repeated this line the all the seas can dry and till the rocks melt with the sun he has also used hyperbolic language both lines are hyperbolic rocks cannot be melt with the sun this is also these things also cannot be happen in the world same thing he has used i will love you still oh my dear by the sign of shall life shall love we can imagine that the poet has used also hyperbolic language that sign of life shall love and he will love until the sign of shall life shall run the speaker continues his the exaggerating moves linked to the previous stanza and states that he will love continue to love his lady till the rocks melt away or life away or life leads to the deserts of death sense of life probably means the passage of time which is compared to the vast desert land okay next and for the will oh my only love and for the will of our and i will come again my love to it back 10000 mark in this is the last stanza of the poem in that poem he is talking about farewell he is going away from her so he says that a fair the way the means you we mean will means well a fair the way oh only my love fair the way Why he says that I am going away from you? He might be going to a war, and I will come again, my love. He says that he will come again to beat her. Though it were ten thousand miles, even he flies away from ten thousand miles away from her. So in that last stanza, the poet says goodbye to his beloved, to his love, but he swears to return. even if he has to travel back 10000 miles he tries to imply a deep undying statement that through the desert of a death he will have to travel miles toward the uncanny unknown transitional worlds he will return for his love so in that poem we have studied in the first stanza the poet has compared his love with the red red rose with the melody that sweetly played in the tune in the third in the second and the third stanza how the poet has said that how much he loved her he says that 
He will love to hurt till all the seas can dry, rock melt with the sun, and the sands of life shall burn. And in the last stanza, he says he is going away from her, and how he will come to her even if he is away from to her. Okay, we will discuss next about poetic devices used in the poem. or major themes in the poem. Robert Burns has used two themes in the poem, love and the separation. We have seen in the beginning that how love, how much love he loved to her and how in the separation means in the last stanza he is separating from her, he is living from her. So there are two things used in the poem by Robert Burns. First one is love and the second one is separation. So love and the separations are the major themes given in the poem. The poet has laid, layered them with using metaphors of a natural object. The poem is primarily concerned with the speaker's love for his significant other and he adores her beauty and expressions, expresses his immeasurable love for her. His love is so deep rooted that he will stay forever no matter what happens. So, you can see that the love and the separation are the two themes, major themes used by the Robert Burns or uh, in the examination, they can ask you the questions, explain the major themes used in the poem or Red Red Rose by Robert Burns. So, there are two major themes, the love and the separation. Next, poet analysis of literary devices you know, Poem Red Red Rose. So there are many literary devices or figure of speech used by Robert Burns in that poem. So literary devices are most important in the poem. They like ornaments to the poem. They can express their feelings, ideas, emotions with the help of poetic devices. So let's know about the literary devices. Literary devices are the tools that enable the writers to present their ideas, emotions and feelings and also help the readers to understand those more profound meanings. Robert Gunn has also used some literary elements in the poem to show the beauty of the beloved and intensity of his love. So literary devices are help to understand the emotions, the feelings, and the idea of the poet or, or the reader. So next, first, the poetic devices used by Robert Burney is similes. I have already told you about simile that simile is a figure of speech or poetic devices means there is a comparison between two things, two objects with the help of the word or, or life. For example, I wondered lonely as a cloud in the poem daffodils used by the Wordsworth he has compared his walking with the cloud same way in the poem Robert Byrne has used a simile he says that his love is a like a melody his love is a like a red red rose so two similes are used by Robert Byrne first one is or oh my love is a like a red red rose and second one is oh my love is like a melody. So simile is a device used to compare an object or a person with something else to make the meanings clear to the readers. There are two similes used in the poem. The first used in the first line, Oh my love is a like a red red rose. Here the poet compared his beloved with a red rose. The poet second is used in the th third line, Oh my love is a like a melody. And the poet compares his love with the sweet melody. Okay, next, poetic devices is consonants. Consonants is the repetition of consonant sounds in the same line, such as sound of yell in the line and fair the will, a while. Okay. So he has also used the consonants. Consonants is the repetition of consonant sound. You can understand. C and a C. Consonants 
fit with the consonant. So he has used and fed the wheel a while. Next, enjambment. Enjambment refers to the continuation of a sentence without a pause beyond the end of a line, couplet or a stanza. So enjambment is the continuation of a line. We can continue a line of the poem or or anything without any pause, without any stop. So couplet means there is a two line. Stanza means there is maybe a line of four lines. So in that poem, Robert Burns has used the uh, enjambment in a line. Oh my love is like the melody that sweetly played in a tune. Next, symbolism. Symbolism means to use of symbol to signify ideas and the qualities, giving them symbolic meaning different from their literal meanings. Robert has used road, rose as a symbol of love. So we can understand the rose is a symbol of love in the whole poem. The, the poem is. Poem line is a red, oh my love is like a red red rose or a red red rose. Where in the beginning of the line, poet has used the symbol rose as a love. Next, alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound in the same line, such as the sound of l and r. Robert Burns has also used the alliteration in his poem. So. Oh my love is a like a red red rose. Yell, love, yell, and the R is repeated all the time. So next, hyperbole. In the whole poem, poet has used hyperbolic language. He has exaggerated to the things, to the life, to the poem, to the love. So in that poem, poet has used hyperbolic language. For example, tea on the seas gone dry, rocks melt with the sun. And the sounds shall grow. In that poem, these three hyperbolic language has used by Robert Burns. Okay, next is assonance. Assonance is the repetition of vowel sound in this in the same line, such as, uh, for example, in that poem, poet has used sound I. For example, I will love the steel, my dear. These are the poetic devices used by Robert Burns in that poem. So I will discuss. Two most questions for the examination. The first is explain the poem as a love lyric, or explain the poem as a love. Or second one is use how the poet has used poetic devices in that poem, or explain the poet, explain the figure of speech in that poem. Okay, thank you.